Alright, hey guys, One Good Road here. So, in my last video, it was quite successful about turning your smartphone into uh, a bike computer for your, uh, for your bike, obviously. Um, so, I wanted to make a bit of an update video on that because I've since just changed the setup and I wanted to give some other tips and tricks on what I use for um, touring or... Um, anyway, so keeping the, the battery charged, etc. Um, Let's start off with the phone itself. I'm using a Samsung Galaxy S5 Active. These Active phones from Samsung are pretty good because the older one, the Samsung S5, you can remove the back cover. So what I do is I carry around in the back saddle. I'll just show you this. This is uh, two, I put keep it in a plastic bag just in case it rains, uh, two battery batteries there for the Samsung. And that just is quite easy because uh, I make sure that they're fully charged and then I can uh, keep the, the phone, well, topped up and charged. Um, and you just swap out the batteries, which is super handy. Um, another thing is that this Samsung one, uh, because it's second hand and uh, they're going down in price, they're quite cheap right now. I think they're like £150 or something like that. And you get a very good camera. Uh, the processor is very good in it because I can, like, if I load up... Um, I'm just in the sun, let me block up the sun a bit. So the handy thing with this phone is it's reasonably fast when you're using the Google Maps. Sorry, I had to go in the shade because the phone wasn't picking up the screen. Um, anyway, so you can see it's pretty reasonably smooth with this processor. I think it's a Snapdragon 800 or something. Uh, it's got 2 gigs of RAM. I wish it had 3 because like, if I'm running... Uh, I mean, depends on your phone and what you're using, but if I run Google Maps, Strava, and the camera to take a few photos or videos, it, it really just slugs down the phone quite a bit and it has to crash a couple of apps to make it work. Um, so I can only run about two different apps at once, um, which is a bit of a shame. It's probably because I just have so many apps on here because I use this phone as like a daily driver every day. Um, also have a one tap uh, button for the recording Strava, which is pretty handy, just in case I forget and I'm like, oh, got to tap it, there you go. Um, Anyway, that's just the phone, and the uh, design I'm using is, like I said, this silicon case. I made a video on that, but it's quite simple to do. You just get a couple of zippy ties and use your own fold, 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 uh, phone case. can't speak this morning. Um, and a bunch of other apps, which I already show in my other video, what apps I use for the bike. Um, anyway, let me just go back, and I'll show you the... Anyway, that's the phone. And then what I recommend is, while you're touring which is slightly different, but if you're touring with a bike, I recommend having a solar panel. This one's really good. This is a 28 watt panel. Highly recommend this one. Uh, it charges uh, the device I have pretty reasonably well. And then I have a quite large 20,000 milliamp hour battery. So if I'm uh, staying at someone's place, I just hook that up. And this definitely, I can guarantee you, it charges a Samsung 2,800 milliamp hour battery with a 20,000 milliamp hour battery. I can charge the Samsung like two or three times with that battery. Um, a lot of people might use uh, one of these kind of, I can't remember the name of this, but it's a bag, it's a top tube bag, I think it's called, and it just sits right there. One of the problems I have is A, it hits my legs, and B, it kind of looks a bit silly in my opinion. If you have a smaller top tube bag just for carrying a few gels and stuff like that, that makes sense, but like, I think this is a bit naff what it does, so I prefer just having the phone itself like that. Um, it's a slight problem if I have to put a lock around here to sit there, but other, other than that, it, it's it's a good spot. Uh, it's reasonably sits well on the on the screen. Anyway, so those are just a couple of my points of view on using um, carrying some batteries with you, solar panel, um, etc., and also the phone. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna go out and go for a nice ride. It's finally a bit sunny. Thanks for watching. Like and definitely subscribe for more videos.